Hello, my name is Wang Yichuan. Today I'm going to talk about my research essay. The topic that I have chosen is the gap between the rich and poor is a significant issue in society. What are the causes and effects of this problem and how can we tackle them? The main reason that I have chosen this topic is because it is a serious problem in our society and I want to know why there's a gap between rich and poor and why poor don't have a better job and why poor don't have a, a nice place to stay. For this assignment, I've taken more than one month to complete it and there is many work for me to do during this assignment like research, make an outline, write the draft, submit them to my lecturer and after that I have to edit my draft and submit a good copy. Uh, when I finish my essay, I I found out the cause effect of the gap between rich and poor in society and what is the solution that can be implemented to reduce this gap. Uh, during this assignment, I've learned many useful skills and can, will be benefit to me in the future assignment. One of the skills that I've learned is finding relevant and wider sources and and citing them according to APA citation. This is a time consuming process and, uh, and learn the importance of time management. Having a timeline is very important as I know for how much time I need to spend on each part. I struggled in the beginning, but at the end, I'm, I was more comfortable. Uh, furthermore, by completing the assignment step by step, from doing research, writing the, uh, the making the outline, writing the draft and the final copy is very useful for me. Those things need to be done in sequence and I cannot skip any of this part. Those experiences are relevant and can be transferred to another subject and uh, it's also uh, very significant when I'm doing another subject like physics. When I'm doing physics, I have to, to do some research, uh, research on the theory, and this time, and now I know how to search for the wider sources and how to cite them and how and how to complete complete the assignment. Uh, efficiently step by step, step. The learning experience is very useful. During this uh, assignment, I learned how to write an SVSC essay, which stands for situation, problem, solution, and evaluation. This is my first time writing this kind of essay, and at the beginning, I found it is difficult for me yeah, because I have to do a lot of research to explain the problem step by step. So after some time, I got used to it and and it changed the way I wrote. I found that this, this method is quite interesting because I could think of a solution and evaluating the effectiveness by myself. This method has improved my thinking, writing skills, and my knowledge level. Uh, during this essay, there's a, a, a word limit. Word mark need to be around 1600 to 1800. I tried my best to read less and keep within the range. This was challenging because I have to cut down some sentences that were not useful. Now I learned that the proper way to write an in deep essay instead of writing some nonsense is very important because it will save you a lot of time. Uh, the limitation of this essay is I must do a nice research before writing the essay and the outline must be good. If not, it's quite difficult for me to write an essay. And all the things that I have discovered about myself while doing this assignment is that I tend to lose focus easily, especially when I got overloaded with information. When I first got this assignment, I felt lost because there is too many requirements for me to follow. Uh, once I come out with an uh, outline, I begin to see a clear image in my head that I can follow with. Now oh, I know that in the future, in order for me to do any of work, I must create an outline that I could follow with because it helped me to follow the requirement step by step.